about fulfillment. Like what I've been thinking about these past couple days, I think it's more about neglect. That's the uh, the concept that I'm reveling over right now. Not that I'm searching fulfillment, but I've been neglecting responsibilities. Mm. That's something I'm thinking about. It's time to work on it. Like something, playing too many video games or not really chasing the passion that I want. For example, if I wanted to do something drastic, it would be to stop playing video games like the last week of every month or increasing productivity time. Just a thought. So today we're stepping it up just a little bit with our sakes. We're getting one in a glass and one in a taller box. Most of the sakes do come in a box like this, much bigger, right? Bigger in grand size. But instead of getting two glass uh, containers, I wanted to get a box and a glass. So the first one here is the Nomo Nomo. Uh, that means like drink up, right? So drink up, uh, orange box here. This type versus the. Hoku Shika, Hoku Shika Yuki, and I know Yuki means uh, snow, right? Yuki means snow in, in, in Japanese. So these two are up for today's competition. Let's go ahead and start off our sake tour 2021. Okay, uh, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Flip a coin. Tails. Heads. Ooh, heads, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start today with the Hokushika Yuki. This comes from the company named, okay, so everything I'm gonna put down in the links, links down all in the description, okay? This is come the company called Kita, Kita Kitaka. I, I can't fully read the, the kanji. Kit, Kitakako Brewery is located in Aida, what is Ariirua? Oidateshi, Oidate Prefecture. Uh, they've been around since the 1970s. It looks like they have an establishment that's been making sake for a very long time. This sake in particular is carefully selection, careful selection, right? 70% of the polishing brew that makes this a honjozo, a honjozo, right? The raw materials is, what is this? Akita, Akita Komachi. Now, what is that? It's a rice from Akita Prefecture. So, they have a rice from their own prefecture that they're using in this sake. 70% of it has been polished. Good climate. They had a few awards, gold awards, and let's go ahead and give it a taste. All right. Ooh, smells pleasant. I'm going to measure it in this nice glass here. Make sure I'm not over drinking y'all then I'm gonna put it in here so I have a nice measurement apparently the the taste is supposed to be in the middle they call it nakaguchi right between spicy and sweet I'm drinking this at room temperature so not hot not cold okay room temperature smells sweet but it also has that that hint of uh, sake here it comes Ooh, that is kind of sweet, very perfumey. There's no, there's, the smell is so small, like so light. But the taste is like a kick, like it hits you. There's like a, like a fresh, fresh taste, like a, like a very happy fruit taste. And I bet you if I make this cold, it'll taste amazing. I think the next batch of sakes, I'm going to warm them up, chill them down, and then do the same video. Because I think this is just 
10 out of 10. This is pretty good stuff right here. I can't believe this is about uh, 200, 200, 300 yen, about three bucks. There's about 14% alcohol. If I was to give it a grade on the fruity scale, maybe a three or four out of 10. Um, as a sake drink, it would probably also pretty low. I'm not, lo I'm not making this low because it's not good. I'm, I'm comparing it to all the other sakes that I've been drinking. Uh, the, the sakes I look for have to be like, like medium body. This right here is kind of like a light body, fruit body, and that's okay. For some people, they'll like it. For me, not so much. I'll give it like a good four, three, four. It's good, but not top choice for me. Okay, next we have the Nomo Nomo from the Ozeki Company. Okay, this is a standard sake, also considered a house sake. Now, if you are in Japan and you're visiting Japan and you want to just have house sake, I learned this, it's called Atsukan. And most likely, you would find this in an Atsukan uh, situation, like a uh, house red wine. In Japan, you would have house sake. You can get warm hot sake called Atsukan, and this is probably gonna fall under that category. Urgh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, all right, this one's in a box, a little dusty. Okay. Most of these to uh, tops have like a, like a plastic insert that you have to pull out. I don't smell anything. Nothing at all. Next time, my next batch of sakes, I'm going to warm them and chill them, okay guys? This is supposed to be at a sweet light body, okay? Sweet light body. Let's go ahead and measure up. Ooh, that has that smell. That has that sake smell I was looking for. Very light, much lighter than the other one, wow. However, not fruity, okay? This has a very low fruit taste. Um, I'm drinking this at room temperature. Again, another one of those right in the middle, uh, almost dry. It's closer to being dry than being sweet or being spicy. Um, the acidity is also quite low, and I believe this is a, a, a Junmai. I can't really tell. I can't really tell you. I'm still learning how to classify a lot of these sakes, but I know that this is right in the middle, 13% alcohol. Um, and it's not that acidic. It's it's very light, not very fruity, and not that dry. So it's also a nice sake to have. Uh, that's probably a good pair with fish. Yeah, it's like very faint. It's a very faint sake. I wouldn't call it cheap, but after having this, I'll rate this a little bit higher. I'll give this like a seven now. Seven, and I'll give this guy right here maybe like a six, five. Five because this is a little lighter and it's a lot cheaper. This is about two dollars versus this one is about three dollars So very good. I think see look I drank it all on accident. I even recognize I didn't even realize what I did there These are quite delicious. I recommend this Yuki one over the Nomo uh, This is probably good if you're serving it to like a massive party But this is more of the party deliverer versus this is the premium uh, sake that you'd like to share so, uh, back to the original topic, guys. I know I mentioned a little bit about neglect and a little bit about fulfillment. Didn't really touch upon that subject too much. I just wanted to share with you that these next few weeks, I'm going to be changing what I'm doing here on YouTube. Nothing bad, guys. Nothing bad. Nothing uh, strange. It'll just be for, the, for my evolution, my improvement uh, and... It's time for some change. Uh, I've been, you know, spending this time here uh, giving you content that makes me feel happy. But then I want to make sure that overall my life is happy, right? So before I can move on on YouTube, I want to make sure that I'm moving on my life, making sure everything is great. Thanks for following along, guys. If you like what you saw, smash like. If there's any of these sakes that you have tried or haven't tried or want me to try go ahead and leave a comment down below smash like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe i'll see you tomorrow peace